Hello and thank you for joining me once again for the latest installment of The Vault. My name is Julie Fry. I'm the curator at Stan Hewitt Hall and Gardens and today I'm coming to you from the master bedroom. Today we're going to talk about Gertrude and her role as a mother. Gertrude and F.A. Cyberling had seven children, six of whom lived to adulthood. Their youngest daughter, Grace Winona, passed away when she was only nine months old of bronchial pneumonia. Gertrude was a very busy woman. Um, she was a mother, but she also was very philanthropic, involved in many civic organizations, as well as having a lot of social commitments as would have been typical for a woman of her social standing. In addition, she was managing the staff here at Stan Hewitt Hall and Gardens, which at times could number over you know, two dozen individuals and planning kind of countless events and entertainment here at the house. But she really was very dedicated to her children. She took being a mother very seriously. Uh, her children often went away to school. The boys all attended prep school in New Jersey at a place called Lawrenceville Academy. And both their daughters, Irene and Virginia, also went um, to the East Coast for finishing school when they were teenagers and Gertrude was a dedicated correspondent to her children writing letters continuously asking them what they're up to what they're doing telling them about her involvement in things and this was really how she stayed in touch with them and tried to stay involved in their lives so this is a quote um, from a letter that she wrote to her son Willard who was her third child and when he was away at school in 1910 so he was a student at Lawrenceville at the time I think of you every day and night so many, many times and wonder how your life is going with you. If you are happy in your work and at peace with yourself, I know there are very many hard things which shock your more sensitive nature from boys callous and hardened in the affairs of life. Don't worry about them. They will wake into a different view of life sometime later on and undergo a great change. We are all changing constantly. I'm a very different woman in many ways from a girl of 20. Very, very different. Some of my ideals I have held fast, others I have let go willingly, others have been rudely torn from me. We sometimes learn our most impressive lesson, which we never forget, from some of our most grievous mistakes. It seems sad that this is so, but it is very hard to guide people so they will not make more mistakes. It seems as if experience is the mother of all of our greatest progress and learning in books as well as morals. So here Gertrude is giving Willard not so much even motherly advice, but just worldly advice as well. And, and it's interesting that she kind of looks back on her own experiences and thinks how much she herself has changed since she was 20 years old and he, all of the life experiences she has gone through just to let him know that he too will change so much and in many ways be a different person from who he is today and to kind of always keep that in mind. So thank you once again for joining me for this installment of The Vault. I look forward to talking with you again soon.